if you have a Samsung device and you have been unable to fly your DJI drone using either the DJI Fly app or the Go 4 app for a few months, then this video is going to tell you exactly what you need to do to fix the problem and to be able to get yourself flying again. So let's get into it. The reason for this video is because it is being absolutely rife on social media at the moment for many people complaining that their drone is basically a brick. This is attributed to the fact that they cannot run the DJI Fly app and that is a problem where it just crashes or says there is a bug and it won't actually work. And the primary reason for this is because if you have a Samsung device, you of course have the Galaxy Store. Now the DJI Fly app in the the Galaxy Store is a very, very old one. So this is version 1.4.0 and actually at the time of recording this video, DJI have just launched version 1.5.10. So we have had a great number of updates since the one that you possibly have installed on your device. And of course, there have been much improvements to the interface and given you a lot of new features. Now the main reason for this issue is primarily down to Android 12, which is installed on Samsung devices. This is now not compatible with the DJI Fly version 1.4.0, which you may well have installed from your Galaxy Store. Now, for political reasons, of which I'm not going to go into on this video, the DJI Fly app has actually also been removed from the Google Play Store as well. So the only place to get it primarily is the DJI download page. So what I'm going to do now is explain the steps you need to take to be able to get this DJI Fly app or Go 4 app working on your device. So let's crack on. So the first thing I need you to do is to actually remove completely uninstall the DJI Fly app version 1.4.0, which you have on your Samsung device. What I then want you to do is go to your Google Play Store, not the Galaxy Store, the Google Play Store, and I need you to install an APK installer. So all you need to do is obviously go into the box at the top and search for APK installer. Now, many of these options should actually work just fine, but this is the one that I have actually tried and tested and managed to get working on my own Samsung device, which is here. It's an old work phone that I use, but it works perfectly fine for the DJI Fly app. After you have done that, what you then need to do is visit the DJI download page. Now, if you go to the DJI download page, once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, what we then need to do is go back to your main phone screen and then open up that APK installer, which I've just told you to download. What will then happen is that will do a search for any installed APKs onto your device or downloaded APKs onto your device. After which you can select the one you have just downloaded, which of course will be the latest DJI Fly app in this series, and then go ahead and hit install. You may well get a security prompt to basically allow your phone to install from this source. All you need to do is go ahead and select OK, and then let it do its thing. After which you can see the phone now installs the APK, which is the DJI Fly app. And of course, this is also relevant for the DJI Go 4 app as well. Now, after this original complaint on social media regarding this issue, you can see that after giving my initial uh, reply advising to do what I've just told you to do in this video, the poster actually came back to say, brilliant, the installing of the APK installer works absolutely fine. And thankfully, that user is now back up in the air. Another way of installing the DJI Fly app is by using my own personal Google Drive. If you go to any of my DJI Fly app update videos, including the one you're watching now, and pop down into the video description, you will see a link to my own Google Drive where I have hosted all of the old Android APKs. This is, of course, helpful if you installed a version that's not quite compatible with your device, or if there is a, a bug or something that you don't quite like or a new feature you don't particularly want and want to go back to an old 
older version. Of course, this works only for Android only and iOS users do need to contact DJI if you want to go back to a previous version. So of course, if you do see on social media, anybody that is possibly struggling installing the DJI Fly app or Go4 app, and of course, it's not just a case of sending them to the DJI download page because that doesn't actually necessarily mean it will still install on their device. This additional step of the APK installer is what should rectify the problem. So if you do see anybody struggling or posting to say that they've not been able to use their drone for quite some time, please do direct them to this video and feel free to share it. And let's make sure that we can get all of our fellow drone enthusiasts up in the air and flying. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.